be a taller building than Burj Khalifa? We are sure the answer that you have is no. Well, you are about to get the biggest surprise of your life in this video. So, watch it till the end. Lately, one of United Arab Emirates' allies and neighboring Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, is dreaming of surpassing Burj Khalifa's height. Reportedly, the kingdom is planning to build a two-kilometers tall tower that would be more than double the size of the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa, which is currently the tallest building in the world, stands 828 meters, 2,722 feet tall. A tower that is more than double that height would be significantly taller than any other building ever constructed and would be a major engineering feat. It is possible that such a tower could be built in the future, but it would require significant technological advances and resources. It is also worth noting that the construction of very tall buildings can be controversial due to their impact on the environment and the surrounding area. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is all set to take on this challenge. Why do you think Saudi Arabia is so excited about dwarfing the world's tallest building in Dubai? Tell us in the comment section. Seemingly the kingdom seems impressed with Dubai's success in using Burj Khalifa as a beacon to draw other investment projects. The kingdom seemingly believes that building a super tall tower can spur additional development in the country. So where in the kingdom is the government planning to build this one-of-a-kind mega project? We will love to know about your speculations in the comment section. The world's tallest tower, with a proposed height of 2 kilometers, is being considered for Saudi Arabia's 18 square kilometer master planned community in the capital of the kingdom. This mega scrapper is one of the significant projects planned for Riyadh's northern outskirts, west of the current King Khalid International Airport. It is undoubtedly the city's most anticipated towering skyscraper. Middle East Business Intelligence -E -E magazine has recently released the initial reports about the project. According to the magazine, the contractors have estimated the total cost of this megatall skyscraper at $5 billion. By the way, it is just a rough estimate yet. We all know where the price of such mega projects ends. The magazine's sources have also revealed that a design competition for this record-breaking project is in progress. You might be interested in knowing that just participating in this competition will cost the bidding companies $1 million. Wow, that's hefty. US-based businesses Skidmore, Adrian Smith, and Gordon Gill Architecture, Cone Peterson Fox, KPF, and Gensler, Owings and Merrill, SOM, are among the anticipated participants. Killer Design of Dubai and Aegis of France are also in the league for the contract. The magazine's sources have further revealed that eight businesses have been approached to participate in this project. Top architectural firms from around the world are also working together. They were selected for the project based on their previous work on world-famous buildings and mega-tall towers. The development, which is a part of the kingdom's vision, underwent a feasibility review by EY, a renowned global consultant. The Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, PIF, is currently evaluating the feasibility of what can be the world's longest tower. PIF holds assets worth $620 billion. The mega scraper sounds like a befitting project to add further glory to Kingdom's amazing mega projects. But the question is, is the project feasible and sustainable? We would love to know your opinions about the question in the comment section. Let's evaluate the feasibility and sustainability of what is proposed to be the world's tallest building in this video. So, keep watching till the end. In terms of price, Burj Khalifa's cost was justified. It is because the tower increased the value of the land in its downtown. If KSA aims to beat this building, just constructing the tallest tower without considering its impact on the value of nearby land will certainly be a blunder. Since the building is in competition with Burj Khalifa, Let's see how EMAAL Builders assisted UAE in hosting the tallest megaproject in the world. Burj Khalifa is not just the tallest building in the world, but a breakthrough in architectural possibilities. Saudi Arabia must leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the architectural wonder it aims to construct must be very close to being flawless. However, there is more to the building than what is seen on the surface. As intriguing as it might sound, Saudi Arabia seems to have ignored many negative prospects of what is currently the world's tallest skyscraper. 
Judging the project by cost-effectiveness, it is evident that Burj Khalifa only contributes to the bragging rights of the UAE. Research has revealed that compared to the hotels and other buildings surrounding the record-breaking tower, Burj Khalifa contributes peanuts to the country's income. This is mainly because of hefty debts that the government acquired for its construction. Now, Saudi Arabia already has many pending mega-projects like the Mirror Line and NEOM, which are due to be completed much later than expected. Many projects have also been postponed due to a lack of budgets. Is it sane of Saudi Arabia to invest blindly in building the tallest skyscraper just for the sake of boasting of the house, the tallest building in the world? UAE has long since established itself as a tourist destination and generates massive income from mega-projects. KSA, on the other hand, has just ventured on this journey, and a significant portion of its economy still depends on oil export and pilgrims to the holy cities. In this case, KSA must consider the pros and cons of investing in a project that might only be good enough to blow the country's economy further. Talking of skyscrapers, a great amount of fortune is not just required in their construction, but also to deal with numerous possible issues due to the height. Saudi Arabia must weigh the cost of the building material, attractions, labor, and many other factors that might not complement the income generated by such a high-rise building. Let's move on to maintaining the temperature in the scorching hot deserts, where temperatures can rise to 45 and 50 degrees Celsius. Designing and maintaining the piping systems in such buildings is also painstaking and expensive. A considerable amount of water is also wasted to maintain the temperatures of the sky-reaching buildings. Additionally, all the wiring that will be required will also cost a fortune to the country. Saudi Arabia is famous for hazardous sandstorms. In designing the sky-rise buildings to fight off the wind load, massive funding must be spared, which KSA does not seem to be able to accommodate with the ongoing projects. The tallest skyline just seems to be a burden on the country's economy in the present circumstances. If we talk about the usability of Burj Khalifa, 29% of this building is totally unusable because of its massive height. It means that the building does not account for the incurred cost of the unusable area. This is another hindrance that KSI is expected to face if it insists on continuing with this mega-project of beating the height of Burj Khalifa. When it comes to reducing the foot line by building skylines, Saudia might be heading in the right direction, only and only if the developers, designers, and other stakeholders ensure working around all the loopholes in the design and working of Burj Khalifa. Do you think Saudia will be able to realize this dream of touching the highest points of the sky to date, or will the dream crumble into pieces? Let us know in the comment section. For more interesting updates, stay tuned to our channel. See you soon with details of many more construction marvels that the modern world has to offer.